What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care. Video games. Everyone watching this video probably plays video games, maybe even have been doing so for years, but everyone remembers their childhood games. Some really can't be beaten because of how magical they once were. Some may even go as far as publicly announcing what their childhood games are, myself included. So, without further ado, here is my personal top 5 childhood video games. As the title implies, these are my top 5 games. Obviously you probably will have a different list, though if you'd like to express your adoration for another game, feel free, I guess. Number 5 is the first Zelda game I ever played properly, Twilight Princess. As a kid, I detested the Zelda franchise just because I didn't like the colour green, and I was more into the Mario and Sonic games anyway. Yeah, I know, how narrow-minded of me. But when Twilight Princess came out when I was like 10, I decided to give it a go. Not sure what made me do it. Maybe because it just looked so... real. I remember getting stuck on the cat at the very beginning of the game, so I got rid of the game. Yeah, that ended quick. I tried it again a couple years later and beat the game this time. Oh, I'm sorry! You need two fish to follow me! Well, excuse me, cat! As a first impression to the Zelda franchise, this game really made me realise how foolish I was to ignore it all this time. I say that, but I've still only played this game in Wind Waker HD. Number 4 is Sonic Adventure 2. Rolling around at the speed of sound, got places to go, gotta... This game was my childhood. I was a very energetic child, and since I never knew anyone capable of keeping up with me, I would play this game for hours. I enjoy every second of it. It's just so dang fast. You've got your running stages with Sonic and Shadow, your shooting stages with Tails and Eggman in a freaking mech, and finding Emerald missions with Knuckles and Luke. And if that's not good enough, you can grow your own chow. And looking back on it, I never realised the music. Oh my god, the music! It's so good! Also, Shadow the Ding Dang Dilly Hedgehog, and the ending. Ah, uh, oh, I can handle. Move on now. So good, so good. Follow me, Sonic. Escape from the city. Third on my list is Luigi's Mansion. I would consider myself a wimpy kid. I haven't improved much now, really. Still terrible with horror films and squeamish with eyes. But still, Luigi's Mansion was one of those games that made me feel brave. Walking into our man- Their mansion in the dark was a frightening experience. But it wasn't all that bad. Oh my good lord, why do you have to jump scare me? The game itself is very short, but despite this, I feel this is one of the greatest adventures I've ever had. For one thing, I could relate to Luigi very easily. His character is so much more expressive than Mario that he's just more down to earth. It's no wonder I prefer him over Mario nowadays. When I was younger, I had a fear of the dark, but in this game, I feared it much less. Probably because I knew that sucking up every ghost in the room would light it up and everything would feel much more... calm. That being said, during that one... dark event, my hands start trembling. And actually, Luigi's Mansion is the closest thing to a horror game I've ever played. I know, pathetic. Next I have is the one most of you were expecting, Pikmin 2. I remember vividly waiting for the game's release, and also what it was like when I played it on the first day of release. Magical. My childhood friend was the one who introduced me to Pikmin 1 in the first place, so the fact that this all started through him is something else. Magical. This game is the one full of the most nostalgia for me. I'm not sure what it is about it, but I just cannot put this one down. It's just so close to me. I feel it's a grand improvement from Pikmin 1, which I failed to beat at the time. Just the movements, the Pikmin handling, speed, abilities, creatures, maps, everything. I was just blown away. My strongest memory was facing bosses such as the Man at Legs and the Empress Bowlblacks. You know, the pregnant one. Unfortunately, but also fortunately, I never really attempted the submerged castle. I got to the first floor and gave up immediately with the difficulty. And we all know what's lower down. I dodged a bullet. The Pikmin franchise was always one that resonated with me, and I was kind of the person who would ask online when the release date of Pikmin 3 was back in 2005. Yeah, been waiting a while, huh? It's great to know one of my favourite games has finally been given a sequel, though I don't think anything will beat the magic I feel with this game and playing it with my childhood friend. I wonder if he's gotten Pikmin 3 by now, or moved on to the mature games. Ah well, maybe I'll find out one day. Number 1 is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Oh yeah, this game. 
It really rivaled against Pikmin 2, but my god, this game is great. Virtually everything about it is flawless according to my memory. The style of the game is something I'd never seen before, and the story was phenomenal. Even more surprising was that it was a Mario game. I can remember each chapter and partner vividly. <laughs> and the way they all come together at the end is just crazy. I remember getting stuck occasionally at moments such as finding the hidden guide to go to Twilight Town, or where to go on the XS Express. But then asking my cousin, who was like a childhood friend to me, how to do it. This guy was like a video game god to me. He knew everything, and was just the guy to look up to. Shame I haven't spoken to him in years either. But hey, time goes on I guess. Something I can really appreciate about this game is the soundtrack. Wow! Each song is so nostalgic and powerful to me that I don't think there's any one that I would skip if it came up in a random playlist. The turn-based battle system is also perfect, and really easy to learn, but customizability given through badges or how you level up can really make each playthrough different every time. Oh, and the characters! The thought of Mario having partners was new to me, and the fact that you could play as Princess Peach and freaking Bowser was just the icing on the cake. Overall, this game was so much fun for me. Each chapter really got me hooked, and the way they come together is just... <sighs> Even moments that most hated, I adored them. The plot twist at Twilight or handling the 101 punies was just something I enjoyed to no end. Though the punies bit probably reminded me of Pikmin. But yeah, those are my top 5 childhood games, and frankly, my top 5 favourite video games. I don't think anything will really beat them anytime soon. They're just too magical in my memory. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'll leave it off here. Mm, my name's been Daz, you don't really care. What are your top 5 childhood games, and I'll see you in a bit.